Hi, my name is Allie Hall. I am partial owner along with my husband Marcus and my sister Fiona and my parents Mike and Mary founded Rainsong Vineyard back in the day. Uh, the business predates me by a couple of years. Uh, my parents founded it. Uh, they bought the, or bought the land back in 1984 and put the vines in actually while my mom was pregnant with me in 85. So it's kind of in my blood. I've been doing this since I was a kid. Uh, my husband worked his first crush in 2009. Actually, before we were married, we just finished up college, didn't know what to do. It was a big recession and my parents said, hey, come out and see if you like being winemakers because we want to retire. So <laughs> we worked it. Uh, he loved it. Definitely a passion for him. So he took over as winemaker several years ago and we just passed the business over in summer 2019. So. My name is Marcus Hall. I am one of the owners and the head winemaker here. In addition to making wine, um, we do offer tastings uh, seasonally at, at this time um, just because it's a, it's a very rustic facility and so um, we mainly stick to the warmer, warmer months. Um, but uh, tastings on the weekend and people come out and have picnics and, and enjoy our wines under the oak trees on the property. I'm Fiona Fix Mitchell. I'm one of the co-owners of Rainsong. We're the, um, the longest continuously operating uh, winery in this area. Um, we've been at it a very long time. We're second generation and we're very small, very um, family oriented. Everybody that, that you're going to meet behind the tasting table is somebody in the family. We travel a lot and, and I've seen a lot of solar um, arrays in other places and that feel like a healthier way to honor the earth and, and move forward environmentally. For a long time, uh, I, I'd say I've had a general interest in, in solar and the idea of being, if not completely autonomous in energy production, at least um, being able to, to generate as much electricity as we consume. I think I've been interested in solar for, I don't know, over a decade. I've always been very interested in environmental conservation. It's very, very important to me that we do the best we can. Uh, with what we have to work with in terms of sustaining the environment and protecting what we have. Um, so it's always kind of been in the back of my mind that it would be an amazing thing to do. I just didn't really think we'd actually hit that goal, at least not so quickly. I thought maybe, you know, 20, 30 years down the line. But, you know, the opportunity came up and we went for it and I'm really glad we did. My biggest concern was the cost, actually. You know, I kind of looked around a little and it seemed pretty cost prohibitive. Uh, but when we actually broke it down, we're paying a little more per month on our loan than we were on our electric bill, but that's going to change within a couple years with rates getting hiked because they do consistently hike around here. So, you know, for a few extra dollars a month, we can have these amazing panels and they'll be paid off eventually and we'll still be getting power. So I'm pretty thrilled about that. So the warranty was a very big part of the reason um, that, we, that we pulled the trigger and finally got solar panels. It's a 25 year warranty uh, and because we went with Green Ridge who was an authorized retailer for these panels or an authorized installer, the labor is also covered under the warranty. Uh, additionally, the fact that it's not a prorated warranty, so if it fails at 24 years and 9 months old, uh, it's completely covered to replace the, the solar panels. Considering the size of the investment, that was a very big part of why we decided to go forward with this. We're generally pretty cautious people when it comes to investments and things like that, and that just made it to where there wasn't a concern about it at all. Our situation was definitely not a simple one. It was not an easy one to deal with. A lot of the people that we were dealing with hadn't had a lot of experience um, from, from our co-op with exactly what we were asking from our electric utility. And so there was a little bit more legwork to do there and a lot more communication that needed to be done. Green Ridge did a great job with that. I wouldn't say that most companies would be able to navigate the process um, like Green Ridge did. I'm surprised they stuck with it, honestly. It was it was such a long process, and falling right in the middle of the pandemic really didn't help. It was so hard um, when the guys had to drive down in the cold, rainy, you know, it was almost snowing sometimes, and they'd have to come all the way down from Portland and work for just a few hours and drive all the way home and then do it again the next day. And they did that for weeks and weeks, and that was, that was just really something. I was impressed. I just, I loved interacting with the people. I think everybody at Green Ridge was just fabulous to deal with. And I, I wasn't expecting them to not be, but just the fact that we could have so many really fun, positive interactions and everybody at the company seems genuinely happy and really just 
wanting to help people out and get this done and I love that.